a lot of industrial companies have traditionally used proprietary hardware units, such as Allen Bradley panel views for their HMIs. The problem is that these proprietary products are expensive and they lock you into one vendor. This has become an even larger problem lately because disruptions in the supply chain have caused long, longer lead times, sometimes very long lead times. And this is making it hard to get HMIs and other industrial hardware items in a timely manner. So some companies will even have to wait until next year to get their panel views. And this can have a huge impact on project and project timelines and just their progress forward with their own evolution. And unfortunately, with issues like microchip shortages, limited warehouse space, and backed up shipping containers, these supply chain issues are really, they're unlikely to go away or change dramatically any time in the near future. So it's something we have to deal with and still move our projects and our activities forward. So with that as kind of a little setting, let me just give Kent and Ross a chance to talk about what's currently going on with the supply chain and how uh, they end up experiencing delays in getting new HMI units that could affect companies. So Kent, why don't you go first and then Ross, you can respond afterwards. Yeah, absolutely, Don. So, you know, it's, it's nice being a software company because we can just give you a new license key. There's no lead time there, but you know, we're not the only part of a project, you know, hardware is going in for all of our customers. And, you know, we've seen that frustration as people have tried to, you know, get projects on specific timelines and then they get held up based on the hardware. And we see it time and time again. And I think to me, what's one of the most unfortunate things is a lot of times there's, you know, a lot of logistics that go into these projects. There's a lot of project management that comes into play here. And finally, you, you know, the stars all align, you get a project approved, you've got the right personnel, and then you sit and you wait for hardware. While you're waiting for that hardware, the company keeps moving. Personnel gets reassigned to other projects and things like that. And once the hardware actually gets there, you're back to square one of trying to get the right people in play and everything all over again. And uh, it just becomes a nightmare. And so, yeah, certainly we've seen that, you know, right now, these supply chain issues are affecting project timelines, but not just for waiting for hardware, but they're they're gunking up the, the entire flow of the business um, and affecting you know projects outside of just these industrial projects as well. Thanks, Kent. Ross, how about your thought? You're out in the field trying to make things happen. What's your, your perspective on some of these challenges? Yeah, and uh, as Kent mentioned, uh, you know, we're experiencing a lot of those issues where we're waiting months for, you know, a panel view, for example, and we've had to change a lot of the strategy of, you know, as soon as we get a project to looking over the bill of material and quickly ordering everything so that we can start adjusting our project schedule based on when we're going to be getting these parts because from one project to the next we'll order, you know, a panel view one week and then the, and it'll be 4 months and then the next week it'll we'll get a lead time of six months. So it's it's really been difficult to juggle all of these different lead times for proprietary systems in, you know, with, with Ignition Edge panel, if we can't get a specific touchscreen from a specific manufacturer, since Ignition Edge panel is a hardware agnostic, we can just switch out the hardware to another outfit and kind of shop around for who has the best lead time. So definitely been seeing issues with that. It's been causing bottlenecks. Thanks, Ross. Kent, you had mentioned that clearly we are not the total answer. The Ignition platform plays a significant role in projects moving forward, but we are not everything. We're part of an ecosystem. But that being said, also, when something happens like the supply chain challenges, we certainly want to have every possible contribution that we can make to solving that problem. And we do have a piece of software that can help solve this problem. It's called Ignition Edge Panel. So Kent, with that as an introduction, would you mind telling us about the key features of Ignition Edge Panel and how our attendees can use that to address some of these challenges? Yeah, absolutely, Don. And and I like that that intro to it. You know, it's it's interesting now you you try to solve one problem and the solution for that problem ends up inevitably helping with other problems. And that was the case for us with Ignition Edge. You know, people wanted a lightweight version of Ignition that was for small sites, for small projects, you know, something that, you know, you could deploy in mass without the pricing constraints of, you know, our, our unlimited platform. You know, so we came out with Ignition Edge and, you know, we did that a few years ago and, you know, solved a lot of problems for people who are looking for a very cost-effective solution to deploy for these these small projects. And, you know, now a new problem comes along with the supply chain and you look at 
Ignition Edge and you say, you know what, Edge Panel really is a, a solution for how we can reduce lead times when you're trying to deliver HMIs, as Ross was alluding to. And so what is this Ignition Edge Panel? Well, it's a standalone HMI software product and you can use it to rapidly build local HMIs for field devices and industrial HMIs. If you're familiar with the Ignition platform, you know that we have two modules for visualization. We have our classic vision module, it's a more traditional desktop uh, HMI type feel. We also have our perspective module, uh, which can you know, run in a browser, also can launch as a desktop app. It can run on a, a mobile device. You know, It's kind of our, our new flagship product, very forward thinking. You know, with Edge Panel, you're not limited to just one or the, or you're not limited to just a specific one. You get to pick either vision or perspective, which is great because if you've got projects where you've already been using vision, you can continue with that. If you're looking at something new, you can put in perspective and that can work great for you. And also, you're not having to pay separately for a design environment. Like all of our software products, uh, the Ignition Designer is included. And so this edge panel also gives you, you know, real-time machine status, allows you to control your processes, build and deploy a local HMI that lets you quickly see the status of your machine in real time and start and stop a process with the push of a button, you know, gives you one-way alarm notification by email through an SMTP server, gives you basic trending with storage for up to a one week data buffer. You know, if you're normally running your clients off a central server, then edge panel can act as a local client fallback. Um, if the network connection is lost, meaning that in the event of the you know, failed network connection, the client that's running locally could retarget from that central ignition server and connect to your local ignition edge panel without any user intervention. It happens automatically for you. At that point, when it's failed over, it provides you, you know, that same one week of buffered data and local data visualization and control, even though you lost your connection to your central server. OPC UA connectivity you know, for your PLC connections, Ignition Edge comes with unlimited tags and is equipped with native drivers to connect to a variety of devices. And also, if you needed to connect to things with other drivers, you can connect to third-party OPC servers uh, like Kepware, Matchcon, things like that. It's fully cross-platform. Ignition Edge works seamlessly with Ignition on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and more. So you can install it on virtually any industrial device. And when we say any device, industrial device, uh, we mean you could be running on devices from a Raspberry Pi all the way up to you know latest generations of edge devices. You know we propose a solution to the problem of ordering HMIs during a supply chain shortage, and and that solution would be use Ignition as a replacement for a more traditional HMI. And so that's right, Ignition HMI is not just an Ignition client that runs separately off of a server and requires a connection to that server, a thin client so to speak, but it can also be a complete HMI solution. How? Well, you need those two components. You need the Ignition to get an H Ignition HMI, you need a panel PC and you need an Ignition Edge panel license. And many panel PCs are available immediately, so that gets you around this supply chain problem. And you have a few different options for how you combine these two components into an Ignition HMI. And so the first one is, you know, you can install Edge panel onto an existing panel PC. Maybe you've already got something you know, they're locally on site. And so you can just install this. It's very lightweight, you know, can go on that existing hardware. You've got, you know, your new HMI, or you can buy a panel PC or an industrial PC and install Ignition Edge panel onto it. Or if you were, you know, used to, I just want to go to one company, I want them to provide everything to me. And then my guys just go and they turn it on and, and run with it. That's what our onboard program is for. So you can buy a Ignition onboard panel PC that has Ignition Edge panel preloaded and pre-licensed. And if you're not familiar with Ignition Onboard, I'll go into that a little bit right now. So Ignition Onboard is a program where we at Inductive Automation have partnered with several trusted hardware partners who install and configure either Ignition or Ignition Edge onto select devices. Our current onboard hardware partners are Avantec, Moxa, Opto22, OnLogic, and Uticore, as you can see on the screen now. The current devices offered range from cellular gateways to embedded PCs to PLCs, RTUs, you know, IO and panel PCs. The point of this program is to make installing and deploying a new solution as effortless as possible. And there's many benefits of buying an onboard device, first of which is you skip the install and save time because Ignition Edge is already installed when you get the device. It's plug and play. You know, Ignition is open and interoperable, so it can work about just on every system right out of the gate. It's IIoT ready because we can, you know, set up Edge to have MQTT to publish 
to you know whatever broker or, you know industrial structure you've got within your system and all ignition onboard devices go through a rigorous benchmarking process and they're all optimized by the hardware manufacturer for maximum performance with ignition specifically and all ignition onboard devices are tested and validated by my team here at inductive automation uh, to ensure compatibility so you know avantec onlogic and uticore specifically sell a variety of panel PCs with Ignition Edge panel preloaded and pre-licensed. And if you want to check out these devices, you can go to inductiveautomation.com slash onboard and browse to find the best solution for your needs. And each device listing uh, includes a link of where you can go to purchase it from the manufacturer directly. And this makes it easy to find a panel PC and easy to put it to work as soon as you get it. Now, you know, these companies are not immune to supply chain issues either. But we did survey them before this webinar and found that their lead times were more reasonable than some of the other proprietary solutions. So definitely worth reaching out to these people, talking to them about their lead times. And the nice thing is that because you're not, you know, with Ignition Edge HMI, you know, Edge, Ignition Edge panel, you're not tied to specific hardware. So if the lead time is really long for, you know, one kind of hardware, you can just, you know, shop around for a different piece of hardware that's going to meet the same needs.